Michael Bisping and Paul Felder comment on fighters stepping into bouts with injuries. Following Sean O'Malley's torn labrum news, after his loss to Marab Dvalishvili, the former bantamweight champion shared that he suffered the injury prior to the bout, and that soon, he will have surgery. After this information was revealed, questions around UFC's medical exams and commissions started going around between regular fans and analysts. Many are wondering, how exactly can a fighter be allowed to compete in the octagon with a serious injury, considering the fact that everyone has to pass a certain medical evaluation before events? Michael Bisping and Paul Felder both have a history of heavy injuries, something that didn't stop them from competing or passing medicals. This is true especially in the case of Michael, who fought with one eye on multiple occasions occasions, having to memorize eye tests in order to fake seeing with his damaged eye during evaluation. They share thoughts on the concept of fighting injured, how frequent it is, and how much attention it deserves. Now, I've got torn labrum as well. I've got torn. I, I made a, 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 I commented on the one doctor from Florida who's like an orthopedic doctor. He's always, he's always commenting on MMA injuries. And he commented on, I think, it might have been Luke Thomas talked about that too, that, oh man, you know, he had a torn labrum and, and you know, when it, it might have been along the same lines of Eldana needing it. Oh no, he was saying, why, how are these guys passing physicals and being able to fight? I can't imagine it's easy to fight with a torn labrum. I was like, I commented, I was like, I think I've had a torn labrum my entire UFC career. I've had a torn labrum for, I think, well, partially torn labrum for about exactly. the last two years you yeah. know and i'm gonna get it sorted it'll be a surgery eventually but it's like it's livable i can do with it uh yeah. deal with it you know sean o'malley and all fighters i mean most fighters go into fights injured because yeah. and they don't tell you know people say well how did they pass medicals because we lie not x-raying us yeah kamaru usman is only one fight away from a title shot says his longtime manager ali abdelaziz one of the most well-known and effective managers in the sport who works with many top tier fighters laid out a plan for kamaru's comeback and gave an update on the state of things with him with three losses in a row, the former welterweight champion has found himself in a difficult situation, as on one hand, age and past championship achievements make it difficult to be willing to be just another contender all over again, win multiple fights to earn a title bout, and in case of success defend it, but on the other hand, his ambition to reclaim his welterweight throne is still there, and he's vocal about this on his podcast or any other media appearance. So it seems that things aren't over. However, what the road back to the title looks like is still not known. Abdelaziz reveals soon he will meet with Hunter Campbell to decide who Kamaru's fighting next. Kamaru's ready, man. He's listen. I'm telling you something. Kamaru's finally healthy. He got the surgery he needs to do, and I believe Kamaru's one fight away from a title fight. You know, and um, he's very dedicated, man. He's very disciplined. We understand, you know, he's coming up a couple of losses, and but listen, let's be real. Like the losses is coming off. He fought Hamza, it was a very close fight at a different weight class, ten days notice. Leon, first fight, we know what happened. He beat the hell out of him, like he stole something, and he caught him with a kick kick. I think this the second fight him and Leon. I thought Leon cheated, grabbed the fence, and I think Kamaru won. But doesn't really matter. But he's he's good. He's ready to go. Um, me and Hunter this week we're gonna meet and we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do with Kamaru and, uh, and that's it. Kamzat Chimaev is spending his time before the Robert Whitaker fight in an interesting manner. Outside of his training camp, he is coaching a team of fighters on a Russian show that is structured like the UFC's ultimate fighter. The opposing coach on the show? It's Armin Sarukyan. This came out of nowhere and recently first meeting between Chimaev and Sarukyan was shared on social media, where they could even be seen wearing blue and red coaches' shirts, just like it's done in UFC's Ultimate Fighter. Anyway, it seems the show will not go on for a long time and interfere with Chimaev's schedule for the Whitaker bout. In a recently released episode, Chimaev had an interesting moment on the show, in which he, at least momentarily, regretted ever agreeing to be a part of the show. As the two teams and coaches were sitting and discussing upcoming fights, interactions between opposing fighters got more and more heated. And in one moment, after a fighter made some foul remarks toward his opponent, Kamzat got upset, threatening to leave. 
Нет, подожди, ты сам должен копаться. Подожди, не, не, подожди, можно скажу? Такие вещи не говори. Пока, когда я уйду, будешь такие вещи говорить по братски. Такие вещи я не собираюсь тут слушать. Я не подписывался на такие вещи. Я не думаю, что Арман подписывался. Я тебе повода не дал, и Арман не дал такие вещи говорить. Просто аккуратно. Такую разборку между собой сделайте по братски. А мы сейчас команду разберем, кто в кого команде, и потом он тут останется, что с тобой в одной доме будет ночевать. Такие вещи с ним на дне без камер разговаривать. Вот взять, я самый известный, можно сказать, среди вас, ребят. Я ничем по спорту я говорю. Это хайп можно без этих слов сделать, я говорю. Я не говорил такие вещи, чтобы меня запоминали плохими словами. Я делал боями и бывал там жестко, бывал, наезжал на своих соперников, происходил, толкал. Вот это понятно, это спорт такой агрессивный. Просто слова такие не, неадекватные, лучше не надо их что-то на камеру, чтобы потом стыдиться. Chael Sonnen reacts to the recent development with Conor McGregor and his relationship with the UFC, following the report of the Chandler fight falling apart. The issue of McGregor's future in the company accumulated even more questions than before, and while the Irishman is adamant he's not going anywhere and intends to come back as soon as possible. Despite the recent news, it is now certain that the timeline of his potential comeback got extended further. Many fans have lost hope and even interest in the Irishman ever fighting again. Shortly after news of the planned fight between him and Chandler collapsing hit social media, Connor attended a bare-knuckle boxing event and later spoke with the reporters. Connor partially owns the company now, so this was unsurprising. But on the press conference, he told reporters that he's out of the loop with the UFC and seemingly asked Sheikh Turkey, who's involved with big boxing and with UFC, to help him and mediate the situation. Chael Sonnen comments on this. As a matter of fact, and this was the big one. This is when you realize, hey, we're getting a shoot right here. Set him out of the loop. Set him out of the loop, which is a, a, a really nice and non-embarrassing way of saying my phone calls aren't getting picked up and or returned. In fact, he went further with that to say that he has reached out to Sheik Turk, Turkey, Turkey, how do you say it? For assistance, that's an exact quote. The 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 fourth. Ask if he could assist me here. If he could just talk to the, you know, you're gonna be with them. I'm. I'm. Would you ask them for me? It was a very interesting thing. And when this, you're in the spot of humility, which he was. And it was so refreshing. And then he said a few things, scratching my head and going, "Now wait a second, what?" <laughs> 